back to Hello Nigeria. Now, joined with us is a HR expert and a career professional, one who saw a gap in the Nigerian employment sector and decided to stand in the gap by constantly doing a conference every year to help young people employed and unemployed as well. His name is Wale Tejumade, and he is the convener of the Lofty Height Conference that happens in January every year in Nigeria. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Welcome, Wale. Uh, Welcome thank back, you. Thank IJGB. You. All the way from what did you bring? No chocolate, no sweet, nothing. So many of them. <laughs> you and I will discuss afterwards to have Good to have you. Thank you. So I, I think I'll start off with, you know, why you decided to do the Lofty Height Conference. I know that you've been doing this for a while, consistently. Even though you're not based in Nigeria, you're based in Canada, but every year you come back home, you put this event together, and then you go back. What prompted you to start? How did you start the whole Lofty Height Conference journey? Well, Lofty Height was birthed um, through a divine inspiration way back in 2009. I was just on the bed, and... Um, the Lord spoke to me and asked me to, to put all that together. So, um, I mean, I didn't have the means, the funds to, to, to gather, you know, to pull such an event together at that point. So we explored several means. Shockingly, I'll let you know tonight that it actually began via Blackberry. Those were days when Blackberry pinging and all of all those things, you know, were, were the in thing you know, especially in this part of the world, right? And um, from there, it progressed, just sending messages, inspiring people. I've always been a lover of people. I just, my passion about life is to see people around me get better. You know, so that, that um, explains why I would leave the comfort of, of my home, so to say, my wife and my children, and um, fly into Nigeria every January, you know, just to make someone else's life better. And also because... Um, the, the feedbacks, the testimonials that I received from past um, um, attendees of the conference, you know, it makes it pretty much difficult for me to even stop or to think about stopping it. Okay. Yeah. And you've been doing this for a lot of young people as well. You're a HR expert, you're a career professional. Oh, yeah. What would you say are some of the gaps that you've noticed amongst our young people, some of the guys that have made a few of them or maybe a number of them unemployable? I would say basically skill. People go to school to acquire um, certificates, not knowledge. What you need is the knowledge. The gap generally, you know, amidst those who are, I mean, seeking for employment and all of that, is it's usually majorly skills that has nothing to do with your academic pursuits. Things like um, interpersonal relationship skills, communication skills, good attitude, positive attitude, you know, and all of all those stuff. And then um, you see, it will shock you if I say that um, the advent of social media or the rise in social media of late has even made things pretty much difficult for people. And now let me let you know that this is not even limited to Nigeria. Back in Canada also it's the same thing. If you want to get a job, for instance, what most um, job seekers do not know is that beyond you sending your resume in, Sometimes these recruiters set out your names on Facebook, on Twitter, on all of all those, you know, apps, just to have a feeling or an idea of what exactly this person is going to look, like, look at. So you've gotten to a level now where organizations are, they're not trying to hire based on what you studied in school anymore. Not trying to hire based on you have a first class or you have a second class or a third class. Are you a right fit? for this organization. Okay, so you, you mentioned earlier saying that um, these days people go to school mm -hmm. not for skill or knowledge, mm -hmm. but just to get certified, to yes. certificate. Yes. But don't you think it's an issue of the system and not them? You see, um, it doesn't matter how much you blame the system. Don't forget that the system is also a people. People put the system in place. The system did not put itself in place. So if you say it's the system, yes, maybe, but beyond that, you have three people or four people going to the same direction or going to the same school, and they come out with different results. For instance, I studied accounting in school. I attended Federal Polytechnic LR. I was done then moved to Lagos State University um, last year to pursue BSc accounting. Right now, as I speak to you, I'm an HR professional. And that's simply because I had to take diploma courses in HR. Diploma in human psychology, in human resources, and all of all those things. So even while I was in school, I was studying or in school, still relating based on what my own 
primary passion or purpose in life is. And that's why I think most Nigerian students have a mistake. Okay. Most of them, right there in school, there is no clarity yet as to what exactly do I want to do in my life. Mm. So you get into school, you do X and Y course. Sometimes you even say they gave me the course. You get what I'm saying? So <laughs> that was not what I wanted, they gave me. <laughs> now, they gave you, you, you received it. But you've chosen not to do something about it. People can give you what you do not want. But it's your responsibility to do what you want to do with that thing that they've given to you. Okay. Okay. So I, I think if you ask me, I'd say that um, it's high time Nigerian students began to, to, to begin to take um, responsibility for, for, for the future. Okay, what are the five major things a young person should look out for or think about or consider when choosing a career? When you say five, I mean, the, well, I, it's, it's, they are, it's actually countless. It's not mm. something numerable. But several things would be you starting from, from the bottom. And the bottom is, who am I? What exactly do I want to do in my life? This is one of the reasons why this conference is being put together at the start of every year. It's strategic. Such that attending, you would be able to, you know, um, assess um, your growth during the course of the year. So purpose, what exactly do I want to do in my life? Who is that person at this point? Who is a picture of the future that I desire? Aside from that, then you look into passion, which also has a relationship somehow with your purpose. Mm. What exactly are my natural giftings? What are the things that I can do without being pushed? You know, you find so many people doing courses in school that they have no inclination about. They have no passion about. Now, if you are in there already, it may be too late to pull out. But even while you are there, it's your responsibility to say that mm. your life is worth much more than what you're doing at this moment. And when you get out of school, making sure that you even get out of school diligently with good grades, you are able to, you know, better reposition your life. Then another thing I'd say would be relationships. Okay. One of the things that i um, not so encouraged around here or that encourage just by word of mouth and paper is actually mentoring. An average career person or a student does not have a mentor. So how important really is getting a mentor oh and how my... do you decide who you want to be your mentor? Oh my goodness, Olive. Now, who would be your uh, mentor would be prevalent on several other factors chief of which is going to be what exactly you want to do by yourself or for yourself. Several other things. You may choose to have a mentor in career. You may choose to have a mentor in relationship. And you may just have just one person who seems to be like um, an encyclopedia, you know, of the, of the yes, all-encompassing individual mm -hmm. who pictures or who mirrors that future that you desire. What, does, what that does for you, which is one of the reasons why my life is the way it is, and I say, say that with all sense of modesty, it gives you speed. Mm. Right now, you're a journalist or a broadcaster or a TV presenter, as the case may be. If you have someone who's worked in this role that you've, you're working right now, not necessarily with this station, but anywhere, maybe in Nigeria or even outside of the, of, of the country, you are able to learn from such a person. And talking about learning, I also feel that it's one of the reasons why you have a high rate of unemployment. Mm. You get graduates getting out of school today, going into a printing place, a place in Shomolu, printing a business card. <laughs> These are things that I've seen. Okay. You get what I'm saying? So talking about learning, people are also not humble enough to submit themselves, you know, to growth, to learning, to development. Are people want it poor? Want but overnight it's... success. And I tell you, that they, they, they want overnight, yes, overnight, overnight, overnight success. And then um, you see any success that you achieve by taking off process, it may haunt you eventually. Okay, well, you mentioned just now, you said something about people not wanting to learn from the beginning. Yeah. But you know, some people feel like, oh, we, we have YouTube, we have, you know, the internet. I can learn on my own. And there are people who come out to say they've done it on their own without uh, so much mentorship, as it were, and they succeeded. Esther, Would you say it's compulsory? Esther, have you heard people say, I'm self-made? Have you heard self-taught? 
Mm -hmm. Should I shock you that there is nothing like, as such? The YouTube you're talking about, someone uploaded that video. True. I mean, why not give the person credit? That the person is not with you physically does not mean that you were not taken through the process. You find a makeup artist who kept on, you know, honing her skills by watching YouTube video. And tomorrow, because such a person perhaps did not have to enroll in specific physical makeup school, we end up saying, I'm a self-taught uh, makeup artist. Who you know, we actually you? never really saw it that way, but that's the truth. Mm. At the end of the day, somebody else gave up their talent. Somebody I mean, oh, yeah. Down, wow. you oh, know, yeah. by doing these videos themselves. Oh, yeah. You know, there, there's so much that we can discuss when it looks at career development, but if you had to give somebody, you know, an advice, you had to give someone tips and tricks on the areas, how to specifically grow and develop your career, which is what you've been doing mm -hmm. um, throughout this conversation, what are the specific things you will say to them? Again, I would say... Have a career mentor, that's number one. Then have a career map. You know, I stumbled on something a few days ago, and that thing says that if you get a job today, make sure you have an exit date. I'm not sure if you've you know, come across such, mm -hmm. such a thing before. If you get a job today, make sure you get an exit date. So make sure you, get, you have a career mentor, have a career map done as to what exactly, how long you want to be where you are and what exactly life is going to hold for you. But beyond that, make sure that you're not just doing what you love, you're also loving what you're doing. These are the two principal um, dimensions to fulfillment in any career. And I've taken this in several of my classes. Doing what you love and loving what you do. Now, doing what you love most times in Nigerian context does not necessarily fetch you the money, but you have fulfillment. You have more people loving what they're doing than those who are doing what they love. Now, you love what you're doing when what you're doing is not exactly that which you always wanted to do. But I mean, the practice of office, maybe you've been paid fat salary, you mm -hmm. have cooks, you have so much, several domestic aids, you have this, you have that. You wouldn't want to say goodbye to such a job and say you have a passion for makeup and say, let me go and start makeup. <laughs> I, I know, I know there's, there are several <laughs> angles and dimensions to this conversation, and I'm excited that you're having a conference in that regard mm -hmm. where you can go all out and you have several speakers. Who are the speakers? When is the conference happening? It's happening next Saturday, um, January 19th, 2019, at Pistis Hub. That's by Maryland Junction, Maryland, Lagos here. And um, this particular edition, we're having um, Alibaba. You'd have... Um, Nice. Um, yeah, you'd have Alibaba, you'd have um, uh, Mr. Ademosu, who is the MD of Credit Direct Limited. He has very amazing testimonial. You have a lady called um, Supermarket, you have um, J-Bombs, you have um, Kenny Black. Yeah. Yes, you have Kenny Black, you have um, um, Favor Dexterity. This okay. is a guy who does um, event decoration. Okay. That's a field, mm -hmm. specifically somehow. You know, All right. So this, this for, is a, for, for that's a very rich collage, you know, of, of speakers, oh, yeah. and it's free for all to yes, attend. Yes, it's free. It's and free. because we are all about your development, about your growth and your benefit, would be that's why we're having this conversation. So if you want to be a part of this business hub, Maryland Junction, yes, on on Saturday the seventeenth, Saturday nineteenth, nineteenth, this pardon. Saturday, coming Saturday, Saturday. How can people follow you on social media to get more information? At Lofty Height NG, or you follow at Wale Tejumade on IG, on Twitter, on Facebook. Is all it right. a paid for event or it's free? No, it's free. Okay, you, you, all it's, right. It's, 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 it's free. It's all free. right, then. Thank you so much for it's joining me. us. Thank you so much for having day. me. You we guys are doing you. amazing things. Thank God you. You're you. too Thank kind. You. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunge videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.